Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro hosted a roundtable discussion in New Haven today to talk about what needs to be done to address this baby formula crisis, and she heard mother's stories. Race and culture reporter Raquel Harrington was there and shares the formula shortage's impact on marginalized communities. As the baby formula shortage continues to grow, Connecticut moms are speaking out in hopes of support and solutions. And it's nowhere to be found. Formulas that were already really hard to find just became extinct. Addressing the crisis and strengthening the fight, Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro hosted a roundtable discussion, hearing these stories firsthand. It's a real concern to me because I asked the moms, uh, where they are now. They still are facing this problem, which only says to me that we have to move and to move very, very quickly. She's helped pass two bills already to help restore the domestic supply of safe infant formula, something moms say is desperately needed. Because a lot of people rely on um, baby formula. A lot of us try breastfeeding, but a lot of us can't produce breast milk fast enough. And a lot of us are like working parents too, so it's At the time that we found out about the formula, she was three months old and I immediately checked her formula and all of the cans that we had um, were contaminated. These stories aren't uncommon and advocates believe they should be heard by legislators and leaders near and far. So that they understand the real impact that this has on families who live in the state, who live across the country, but that this exists for, it existed for many of those even before this began. In fact, the shortage has disproportionately impacted marginalized communities, and the hope is that this conversation serves as a wake-up call for change. We're going to come out of this um, with solutions that are rooted in, in trying to be more equitable, then we have to have solutions that are focused on the families that historically have been more marginalized. For CT Cultured in New Haven, Raquel Harrington, Fox 61 News.